Welcome back to another episode of the Casey Campbell Podcast. Casey Campbell with you, of course. Pleased to be joined by Riley Stenjum, one of the seven finalists for the or this year's uh, Kowicki Driver Development Program and going for that cup. How's it going? Good. How about yourself? Good to talk um, to you. Yeah, good to talk to you as well. Uh, it's been a while since you've been on here, but uh, how uh, have things been going? Just kind of uh, just kind of talk about your year so far. Yeah, it's kind of been a different style year for us, for sure. We've raced a lot more than we usually have. I mean, we usually run 20, 25 races a year, but we've already got 22 in so far. It's been a busy year. Kind of started off the year a little bit of a mixed bag, uh, super late and pro late model races. Um, we had quite a few races at Madison International Speedway to start the year, and then they kind of got rained out throughout the year for the pro late model side um, as we ran for points over there on Friday nights this year. Um, and then we started the year running a handful of Midwest Tour races, and then kind of throughout the summer, when the Midwest Tour kind of ran all those ASA Stars National Tour races, we weren't able to run with the Midwest Tour due to our motor package. So uh, we kind of focused on the late mile side through June and July. Picked up a win over at Madison, I believe in the middle of June, over there on the weekly competition on the pro late mile side. And then we had a uh, kind of started off the year, we had speed on the super late mile side, but uh, didn't really get the finish of the show for it. And then kind of lately, we've been starting to pick up the super late mile side. We ran with the Midwest Tour the last month or so. Um, we had three race weekends in a row. We were able to pick up two second place finishes in a row with Midwest Tour. And then on par for another looking like a podium finish at the Jim Sauter Classic at Dell's Raceway Park Labor Day weekend and uh, had an ignition wire uh, kind of burned together and it shut the car off on us. So that kind of put a damper into things. But uh, we've got speed and that's always good. Yeah. Okay, so let's go back to uh, let's go back to running those like those ASA races and Midwest Tour, and then and then uh, you know the the big stars tour. What 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 was that experience like for you? Yeah, it's been good. I've kind of ran on that series off and on over the past couple of years, but we've kind of become more of a regular on it this year. We ran every race but the three stars national tour races on it, so I believe we've ran I believe six or seven races so far on the Midwest Tour, and then we were planning on running the next the final two here and coming up. But yeah, it's been good. It's always good competition on that series, and it's uh, just a good group to run with. You can always trust racing around those people generally. They're a lot, a little bit cleaner than some other series, so that's kind of why we like running it. I mean, nobody likes fixing torn up race cars, so it's been good. And uh, yeah, it's a, it's a good group to run with, good competition, gets you exposed. I mean, they do a great job with their broadcast and stuff, so it's good for your partner's exposure and getting the Kawiki program some exposure. So it's a, it's a good deal to run with. I enjoy doing it, and hopefully we can put together a deal to be able to run full-time, full-time, you know, with the national tour races as well in the future, if we can change up our motor program a little bit. Yeah. Um, okay. So I know being a part of the program, which if you, if you don't know for the audience doesn't know, yes, I am a part of it, but um, talk about some of the things that you're doing uh, outside of the car that you, that, that uh, for people that people that the people need to know about. Yeah, the, like you said, uh, the Quickie program, it's not just about being on the track, it's also off the track, and it's been cool to really reach into that, being well-rounded off the racetrack. Um, we've done a few fundraisers throughout the year, and we've got some more planned. Uh, we started off the year doing our Laps for Kids fundraiser, as we always or have done the last two years for the American Family Children's Hospital in Madison, Wisconsin, to raise money for their greatest need fund. We've set up some booths throughout the year at some different racetracks, and then we did a, uh, I took the car to a few places. I went to the Racing Roundup show where Thumper was at, our Alan yep. Kowicki that car, which we've been Absolutely. running all year, yeah. our pro late model. So that was cool. outside of the community service, just to touch on that Kowicki throwback car, it's also part of the program to try to promote Alan's legacy. And we've had a great time doing that this year with that 28 throwback car. It's a throwback to Alan's ASA days and his Hardy um, short track car. So we've been running that. It's a, pretty much a replica scheme of that. And it's been cool just nice. to see the fan comments on that. A lot of people that have watched that car race in their day and uh, they're getting to see a replica of it running up front on the racetrack today. But anyways, yeah, so we've done some things like that. And then I also went to the work with Slinger a little bit on some fundraisers and stuff. And they did a community at uh, event at the community library um, during like their kickoff of summer week. So we went to that. And then we did a 4th of July parade with our car. We had, Then we now kicked off or kind of kicked off the school year with a backpack fundraiser for some local schools. And then we're working on doing a breast cancer deal at the end of the year like we did last year. So that's kind of what we got looking forward to. Okay um let's talk about you know just th this is the second year of the program that you've been in it um what do you feel like you've learned from year one to year two year one to year two it's been a big jump in my career I feel like it's just kind of 
maybe be more prepared when I show up to the racetrack because uh, obviously every race matters in this program and you're trying to weed out some bad finishes because they take your best 15 finishes. So you want to have 15 top fives. Obviously, it's going to take 15 top fives to win the program this year. And we're at 13 right now, working on getting toward, closing out and weeding out some bad finishes and getting to 15 top fives. Uh, obviously, it's going to take a handful of more wins as well. So uh, like I said, we've had the last three races we finished were second place finishes and then we had two DNFs to bookend that. So we're working on closing out, turning them second place finishes into wins. And um, obviously it's going to take that as well. But also the off the track aspect, it just kind of made me a more well-rounded person. I really, I mean, I started it last year, but it's kind of just kept that um, instilled in me and tried to build on that from last year and just be using my racing to do uh, more than just on the track, you know, be involved in my community and things of that sort. And then obviously promoting the program as well. Absolutely. Um, so let's talk about your schedule. Where are we going to see you next, Riley? Well, this weekend's a big one for us. It's at my home track, Jefferson Speedway. Um, it's the Wisconsin State Championship weekend. So basically that's, uh, it's our fall special per se. It's like Wisconsin, every track kind of ends their season the week of Labor Day or the week after. And then following that, pretty much every track kind of has a fall special. So this weekend is Jefferson's end of the year special. They ended their point season last weekend. And this weekend's their fall special. They call it the Wisconsin State Championships. And it's uh, basically a golf score. So there's eight, 10 divisions there. And they, um, there's probably gonna be about 40 late miles there. Qualify in, they take 14 cars into the first feature on Friday night on time. So if you're not in the top 14 on time, you're not locked into the feature. And basically once you lock into that, there's three 50 lap features. There's one on Friday night and then two 50 lap features on Saturday night. Yeah. So basically if you, uh, it's a golf score. So the lowest combined score between qualifying and the three races win. So you can win the Wisconsin state championships without winning a feature event. But obviously we'd like to win a feature event because that's what goes towards the program. We've got three feature events going towards the program this weekend. So that's our goal. But obviously I've never won that Wisconsin state championship either. Two years ago, I tied for second. I won two out of the three features, but I had a mishap on the other one and kind of, I think I finished 10th or something like that. So I ended up second. So it's kind of been one that's eluded me for a while. I feel like we've got a good race car, but over at Jefferson this year, we've struggled. So uh, we're kind of going to start over this week. We've got practice Thursday night and practice from 4 to 10 Thursday night. So we're going to work on a race car quite a bit, kind of try some new ideas and hopefully make it better and have a shot at it this weekend. Then after that, we got uh, Elko Speedway in Elko, Minnesota with the SA Middles Tour next weekend. And then um, we haven't ran good at the Dells in the past. And there's the Icebreaker 100 is rescheduled at the Dells for next Sunday. And it's pretty much on the way home from Elko. So we've kind of talked and we're probably going to go to the Dells on the way home from Elko next weekend. If everything goes, oh, we'll hang the shocks on the wall from when we were there last weekend, just throw them on the car. And hopefully we can start off where we ended last weekend at the Dells or two weeks ago. Then after that, the big one in Wisconsin, it's uh, the Oktoberfest weekend. So we're planning on racing our Super up there for sure. And if, as of now, it's just going to be the Super Late Model. It's, I mean, it's hard. We race practice Wednesday and you race Thursday through Sunday. So it's kind of hard to find enough crew help to do just one car for that whole week. But uh, if we, if some things change and uh, a little bit of fun, we can find a little bit of more funding, we might bring our late model as well. So we've got a busy year ahead and then possibly at the end of the year, we got the following weekend at the Dells as well. So we've got a lot of racing still. Absolutely. All right. All right. Well, Riley, thank you so much for coming on and talking with us and um, uh, well, best of luck this weekend, bud. Thanks, Casey. Appreciate it. Awesome being a part of the show.